Welcome everyone, I hope you're having a fantastic day. In this video I hope to demonstrate for you and give some tips on what I believe is a very effective assault rifle playstyle to use in Infinite Warfare. I deliberately set about using a playstyle with the most popular gun, the MV4, and it was a playstyle which I think if people watch and maybe listen to my tips they could benefit from if they're struggling with assault rifles. Now I recently did one of these videos for SMGs, the SMG playstyle, if you haven't seen that one I'll link it in the description. But the gameplay will start in just a few seconds and I'll do some commentary and talk about a playstyle which I think could help those who are struggling, maybe get them avoiding so many deaths and getting a few more kills. Now I didn't set out to try and get the most kills ever, I've got videos with 50 plus kills on my channel if you want to watch those. But I just want to demonstrate a playstyle which I think will give some players something to sort of work on. And I get uh, a flawless gameplay, I actually almost get a nuclear, but here's the gameplay now and you'll notice straight away there I backed off. And this guy I knew was rushing me so I pre-aimed. Now pre-aim is a very key tip for a lot of weapons obviously in Infinite Warfare, but assault rifles. Because they have the slightly slower ADS time, slightly slower fire rate than your SMGs typically, it's very important to pre-aim. And the assault rifle is, you could argue, almost like a hybrid. It's got a chance of winning gunfights up close, but it obviously excels at mid to longer ranges. And the few seconds or almost a minute or so that passed there, I was hanging around in an area as I'm doing here, which I feel that I've got a fair chance or a really good chance of winning most gunfights. I'm trying to not get too close to enemies unless here, for example, I knew there was a guy aiming the other direction who wouldn't know I was coming up behind him. But that's a key part of uh, being effective with whatever gun you're using in Infinite Warfare. It's knowing its sort of distance, the strengths which it performs best. Here with the MV4, I think mid to long range, if I was using the K bar, I'd be playing not SMG style aggressive, but borderline SMG slash assault rifle style aggressive. I think it performs a bit better at closer ranges than the MV4. But with the MV4, I'm staying at ranges a little bit further back than I'd be tempted to do with the K bar. Obviously, people may sneak up on me at times and I'm forced into a close range encounter. Now, here we go again. You notice that guy there. I'm almost standing my ground letting him come to me. If I had an SMG, I might have been a bit more aggressive, tried to do some jumps in the air or whatever, take him by surprise. But because I've got the assault rifle, it's all about accuracy, power at range, and I'm trying to stay at ranges where I feel I've got the advantage. And I've now got the warden, obviously, and I'm always looking at the minimap, so I've got a fair idea of where enemies are. And I can see a guy on the minimap here, there he goes. And he's got off, but I don't rush in immediately after him. Um, with an SMG I might have been a bit more tempted. Again, see all the enemies on my left, I've got five of them there I believe. Do I rush in and try and get five kills? No. I know that's going to be death with an MV4. So what I did is wait till they got round the corner, I go round behind them, if I got one kill, fine, if I got two, fine, but I'm happy to settle for one because I didn't die. Now I've got my highest score streak, we pop that one down, and I spot these enemies in the map, and I think, because I've got the warden up, and they, they've just heard an RC8 coming in, they're going to be panicking and rushing in there for cover. So, although I've got a slower firing assault rifle, I'm happy to pre-aim and take my chances. Here, I just think, no, I'm pushing my luck, so I quickly use phase shift. And now it's all about defense and not dying. And there we go, we spot this guy, and I have to play a bit more aggressive there, because having fired, if I just left him, he's going to come back and kill me. But notice again, a sense of danger there. Is it smart to try and turn around on the spot and take that guy on? No, it's safe, or safest, to try and get the cover, and then play at my strengths, use the advantage, and try and take him out with the element of surprise. And again here, if you notice, I'm being quite careful as I turn the corner. I'm trying to maintain my distance from the enemy. I don't want to rush around that corner into an oncoming enemy. I want to stay around this corner, keep my distance, be aiming where I think the enemy could be coming from. Spot this guy over there. 
I'm trying to kill him, I do kill him, but I'm also trying to be aware of my position and not make myself too much out in the open. Again, you can see these guys over here, and I think they're panicking a bit now, and I feel confident, even though I'm at close range, because I'm pre-aiming, I think I've got the upper hand there, so I'm willing to chance it. Again, a couple of guys here, pick them off from range, and you'll notice, other than this little bit here, where, as I've explained, because I had a warden and that up, I feel confident winning the gunfight, I'm trying to just stay at um, distance and encounter enemies where possible, like from the side, where they, don't, they haven't actually seen me, or drop down behind them and stuff like that. But if you contrast this video to my SMG playstyle one, you'll notice I was far more aggressive, running around the whole map, and just using a more aggressive style because I was trying to play at the strengths of the gun. Again here in the assault rifle class I'm trying to play at the strengths of the gun again. And here I know there's someone coming and I just do a little jump just to try and help get the element of surprise there. There we go, the second warden. Five kills off a nuclear and not far off getting the second RC8, but it's game over. So we did a 29-0 flawless, almost got the nuclear. But that was me deliberately trying to play to the strengths of the gun and get a gameplay with me using the strengths of the gun, try and get that message across as much as possible. It's not about taking risks, it's trying to get yourself into the spot to make most effective use of the weapon you've got. So I hope you found this video interesting and helpful and I'll see you soon for another one.